we uh, measure damage is by looking at what the heart actually releases. So in, effectively, uh, if a patient goes to a hospital to complain of a, a chest pain, uh, the things that a clinician would do is basically do an ECG followed by a blood test. So in the vi in vitro setting and on the bench, we try to mimic that. One of the hardest things with the heart is its low regenerative capacity. So um, the heart has a turnover of, of heart cells at a very low rate of 1%. And by the time we reach 80 years of age, that's, that significantly decreases by almost half. So if we can identify ways of trying to reverse those detrimental or remove those detrimental cardio heart cells, those cardiomyocytes, we're hopefully able to keep the heart functioning as we want it to. Our next um, hope is to take that now more to the bedside and looking at the clinical side of this. So using ultrasounds or MRI imaging to integrate the AI into, in, into those sort of images and almost mimic, mimic what we've done here, but then um, using clinical images. Um, and so it, it, will, it certainly has a lot of hope and promise to be used in the future.